Well, hey guys, welcome back to Four Oaks Crafts, my next video. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make a camping chair. And uh, these go by a lot of different names. Uh, so I've heard bog name, I've heard bog chair, I've heard Viking chair, stargazer chair. These are all over the internet. If you go and look on Pinterest or Google it, you'll find something. I think I have seen this, you know, at a Boy Scout outing or two. It's a very cool project. Uh, it's going to look great or maybe on your patio or maybe around your fire pit. It's a one board project and you know all you need is a jigsaw and a circular saw to make it. That's really all you need. Uh, it's a great weekend project, uh, easy to make. Maybe bring your kids in and get them to help you build it. So join with me. Let's get started. Okay, this is a uh, 12 inch by 8 foot by 2 inch uh, piece of untreated pine. And to make this campfire chair, I need, I'm going to use two uh, 36 inch pieces. I'm going to measure 36. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my boards. You can do this with a circular saw like I'm doing here, or you could do it with a uh, miter saw, crosscut saw. Okay, as you can see here, I've uh, already made uh, one of these campfire chairs, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the plans and the ac actual measurements out there on this post so you can get those. But what I'm going to do here is just kind of simply use this chair as a template, if you will, to make my uh, measurements for the second chair, which I'm making for this video. Of course, you always want to measure twice and cut once, so make sure all your measurements are, are correct. Okay, now I'm going to trace out the the tenon part. This will be the the tongue part or the tenon part that's going to fit down in the mortise. Okay, I'm going to start by cutting out the uh, tenon part with the uh, jigsaw. Okay, to cut this uh, mortise piece out, I'm going to drill four holes in each corner here using a 3 8 inch bit. So here we go. We can use a jigsaw to cut this section out. Alright, now let's uh, Let's test our uh, tendon out, see if it fits in here. A little bit tight on the edges. Okay, after a little bit of adjustment, uh, I've got this mortise and tendon working. The key with this, this uh, these cuts here is you want this to be fairly close. You don't want to have too much of a gap, you know, here in your mortise, between your mortise and tin. Or what will happen is this board will be too loose back and forth. You want it, you want it to be a fairly tight fit, but you gotta also recognize that the wood is gonna also expand and contract. Hey, one other thing I wanted to mention about this mortise is that I basically cut this mortise 90 degrees you know, into the wood, 90 degrees in reference to the surface here. Uh, I've seen other tutorials where they'll actually cut the mortise in at say a 70 degree uh, angle. This would be like that, a 70 degree angle. It would actually be like that. And I think that's just a personal preference. Uh, you'll have to experiment. I've already done one of these and I felt like the 90 degree uh, was fine. It's a little bit easier to manage and it, the seat sits pretty comfortable. But you can experiment with that. Maybe make one like this. Maybe make one that's uh, where the mortise is uh, at a slight angle. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that idea in. 
Okay, I'm going to go over this with my orbital sander. I'm going to start out with say like 40, may switch to 80 grit here, but I want to try 40 to start with. And mainly what I'm trying to do is you don't have to get this, you know, super smooth, but just get the, uh, uh, you know, the splinters out and the, the tear outs, kind of get them uh, sanded off and then maybe go to 120 grit to get it a little bit smoother. And what I'm going to do is end up staining this and adding some uh, spar urethanes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give this a, give this a test and see how well it works. Okay, I've got a uh, semi-dark uh, wood stain here. Uh, I believe it's called red oak, and uh, I've uh, you know wiped all the dust off of the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some stain. Okay, I put on a pretty liberal amount of stain, so I'm gonna go in here and wipe some excess off. Okay, now I'm adding a uh, thin layer of uh, spar urethane, and uh, I'll uh, probably come back and put a second layer, maybe a third layer. Uh, this chair is going to probably stay outdoors, so I didn't want to protect it a little bit. Not too worried about getting a super, you know, clean finish on this. It's going to be an out uh, outdoor chair, so not too concerned about the uh, brush marks. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you a link to the plans down in the description field. And hey, take a minute and hit that subscribe button in the corner. I really appreciate it. Until next time, happy woodworking.